In Escape from Tarkov, it's hard to know exactly what trades are worth doing. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what trades I personally use and how to get the items for those trades at the most efficient, effective cost. Now, a lot of these trades might not be to your level or to your to your trader level. Obviously, this is, this kind of depends on, on your own kind of character level and where you're at in terms of the game. But I mean, a lot of these will be from level one to level four. So it, it just depends really on, uh, on which ones you think would be useful to you. Mostly there will be level three and four because those are just the most useful trades for the best stuff. Just take, take that in, into mind when you're, uh, when you're watching this video. Um, maybe if you're lower level, you can kind of like go through this in the future uh, once you've kind of gone th through the game and, and level up your traders. So just uh, take that into note when, uh, when watching. Oh, also, I'm, I'm Hayes. Hi. Um, if you guys like this video, give, give it a like. If you guys want to see more of this in the future, then feel free to subscribe as well. Um, and also, if you guys think I missed something, leave it in the comments below if you, if, if you think you've got a, a good trade that I think I've missed. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So here we have the traders. Um, starting with the Prapor, we're going to go down the line sort of uh, from, from left to right and then left to right again. Prapor, first one is on level three. Bart items, it's the raid bag. Now, a lot of people might not be interested in this. You know, they don't want to use big bags or whatever. If you do, if you, I don't know, if, if you're a night rudder, loot rudder, whatever, big raid bag might be kind of useful for you at level, you know, le level three Prapor. Um, so this one is nine level 25 USEC dog tags. Um, now, I mean, a lot of times, if you're English speaking like me, you'll probably choose USEC as a, as a character. So a lot of times you'll probably have quite a few USEC kind of dog tags from other people that do the same. So um, now the minimum level 25 dog tag, um, so like nine of these is worth 85k. So nine level 25 dog tags, two, P two therapists is, 20, is 85k. Um, so 85k for a raid bag, that's not bad. Grab that one. Now that is pretty much it from Prapor in terms of the trades uh, that I think are useful. There's not a lot more. I don't use any more of these. Um, they're all fairly kind of meh. I mean, you can use the uh, the the Corund if you want to for the diaries. Uh, that's one that you could use, but still, I I have the ability to buy it, so I can buy it myself for 112k, which isn't too bad. Now moving on to therapist, uh, the trades that she has. So there are two trades that I've got. Uh, one at level two and one at level one. So we'll start with the level one uh, trade, which is just a Salewa. Uh, it is this one here. Salewa, you, you can get two max per reset, and it's a and it's, uh, it's a a thingamajig. This water thing, uh, emergency water ration. Uh, now these are generally it depends on the time of day. It's quite early today, so obviously um, they're kind of expensive. But usually you can get these for around about sort of seventeen k. Um, now, usually you'll get the the uh, Salewas for about 23k on the flea market. Um, I won't even buy them from therapists because that's an absolute ripoff. But yeah, tw 20, 23k-ish around there you can buy them for, but you can trade them for cheaper. So if you guys want Salewas, um, you can go to the flea market and buy yourselves a water ration for 17k. Trade that, boom, you got to have a cheap Salewa and that's quite nice. Um, you know, you get cheaper reset, which is quite good. Um, the next trade is a level two one, and this is for the med case. Um, now, I think a lot of people know this already, but it's just worth noting because this is a pretty good trade. Um, it's worth doing because you don't want to buy it on the flea market. I mean, right now, um, at the time making this video, there was a lot of uh, a lot of um, med cases going into circulation because of this uh, this event that they did with um, with giving bandages to to therapists. And you got a med case out of it. If you gave any bandages in, you got a med case out of it and some other stuff. So um, bearing in mind, this might be a bit, a bit different, but usually this is very, very good. Um, so you can go for seven blood sets, seven syringes, two Vaselines and four med tools um, for a total cost of 260K around about. Um, now, usually on the flea market, med cases are about 600K. Um, so obviously savings of about 340,000 rubles, which is pretty crazy. A lot of these trades, uh, I've not even really said this, but a lot of these trades require to have the flea market anyway, because you need to buy the stuff. I mean, you can find them in raid and that's fine. You can find these, you know, the energy water ration, uh, the, the emergency water rations in raid, um, and then trade them through that if you want to, obviously. But, um, 
uh, yeah, a lot of these things you, you probably have to have the flea market for, which is level 15. So if you're that early into the game, I wouldn't even bother looking at trades anyway. Just find your stuff and raid and you'll be good to go. Now, next trade, obviously, we're going to skip fence because fence uh, is he doesn't do trades so you know he's kind of worthless anyway uh so we're gonna go to skier next one skier there are there's only one trade that i would really uh think of of doing um a lot of them are kind of i mean thermals you can do thermals and stuff like that sure but the one i would do is on level three um skier which is the voodoo scope for two gpx's um now this uh saves you about 34k buying the gpx's from the flea market they're about sort of like 33. Okay, so they've gone up in price again a bit, but still, it's still cheaper uh, than buying the Voodoo from the flea market straight up. So two of these gives you a Voodoo Scope. So two of those gives you a Voodoo Scope, and the Voodoo Scope is about 100, 100k. I mean, it's, it's 105, 110 now. So if you want a good scope, definitely go for the trade and don't buy it because there, there's no point. You might as well just, just trade it. Um, now, there is obviously a, a limit on that of one per reset. So it depends on... On, on how much you die, I suppose, right? Um, but still, worth doing for the first sort of first sort of life of using the scope. Definitely worth it. So moving on to uh, Peacekeeper. Next one's Peacekeeper. Uh, now there is two trades, one at level three Peacekeeper and one at level four Peacekeeper. Now this one, this next one here, level three Peacekeeper. Go to the trades here. There's not a lot, obviously, but the one that is worth it uh, is the GPNVG Night Visions. Now, if you need to use these, um, then fine. I personally wouldn't use these night visions anyway because they're too expensive. But if you need to use these or want to use these, um, then the best trade is doing this one with the dog tags. Level 25 bear dog tags. Nine of these, as we said, will cost around about sort of uh, 85k um, for the dog tags. Um, the buying cost of these is a lot more. If you see here, this uh, $1,516 is a round about i've got it noted down here's around about um 202,000 rubles which is quite a bit so you're saving yourself about 117k just trading the dog tags alone i mean you've got a bit to play with so you can you you can trade in a few high level dog tags and it won't, won't really matter you'll still be saving yourself some money but definitely do this trade first there's only one per reset so um either way worth doing for your first time um yeah wouldn't skip on this one moving on level four peacekeeper Level four, you know, um, you've got some things here. Not a lot, but again, you've got some. This MP7A2, which is the uh, the better of the two MP7s. There's the A1, the A2. The A2 is the better one, uh, usually more expensive. You've got one GPX and one power bank. Um, now, this is a total cost of about 61K, give or take. Um, now, the flea market value of the MP7 is about 75K. So it's not a massive saving. I mean, it goes up and down, obviously, but around about savings of 14,000 rubles. So if you want an MP7 to use for a daily or something or whatever, you know, or, or a weekly, you got to kill some scabs with MP7, then this could be a nice little uh, nice little thing to do. You get two per reset, so it's not too bad. Worth doing if, if you want an MP7. Um, I wouldn't, I personally don't use the MP7 a lot. I find a lot of those in raid anyway. So it's something to think about. Now, moving on to mechanic. Good old mechanic. So uh, a lot of these are, um, so th th I think the first one's level four mechanic. Uh, and a lot of people know this one. This one is the black key card trade uh, down here, this bad boy. So black key card trade, obviously it's expensive. If you don't care about the black key card or labs, don't worry about it, it's fine. But for, for those that do, obviously those that might not know about it or want to buy it from the flea market, it's um, it's expensive. I've got it noted down as about 3 million, but here you can see it's obviously three to 4 million, uh, you know, nearly, nearly seven, it's insane. So. Um, this is the best trade you can really do here. Uh, the cost, so you got like five tank batteries, f uh, eight Cyclone batteries, uh, two RFID readers, uh, and a um, secure magnetic tape, uh, cassette tape, whatever you want to call it. So the total cost of this trade is about 1.76 million uh, for this trade alone. It's hard to get as well. A lot of people um, struggle to get this, this trade done. Uh, but I mean, I think they've increased the amount that you can get anyway per reset. So it's not too bad. Um, recently. So if you want a black key card, this is the way to go. Um, it costs, you know, 1.76 or uh, around 1.7, 1.8 mil, uh, which is pretty damn good for the black key card. Now, the next one from for Mechanic is the ammunition case. Uh, now that is at level one. Caveat, it's unlocked 
after you complete Gunsmith Part 5. Okay. So if you want some uh, some some good um, some, well, some ammo cases, get to Gunsmith Part 5 or just complete your Gunsmiths as fast as you can. Um, and then you'll you'll get the, the, the trade for this. This is therm two thermite and two eagle gunpowders, green gunpowders. Um, total cost of about 250k, give or take. Again, this, I mean, it fluctuates. I'm just giving you kind of like my rough estimate around what I found uh, during sort of like peak times. This is during the afternoon, actually. So peak times, about 250k. Um, but the fleet price is about 600k, which is kind of uh, kind of crazy. I mean, we're looking at 518 now. Prices go up and down in the morning, but still worth totally. Uh, savings of about 350,000 rubles if you just do this trade. Um, there's one per reset, but hey, I mean, you're going to get any more than one per reset anyway on, on ammo cases. I don't know. Depends. But still, that's level one after unlocking, after com completing Gunsmith Part 5. You get this trade. Really good trade. I do this all the time when I'm trying to go for, you know, when I'm trying to get ammo cases. I've got a few. I've got a few ammo cases down here. Uh, you can see here. <laughs> I've got a few. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely worth it. So moving on to the next trader, it is Ragman. Now, I think it's probably the one that people are looking for the most in terms of armor, stuff like that, right? Because yeah, armor is the most important kind of part of this, I think, in terms of trades, in my opinion. I use a lot of armor trades. So the first trade, I've got a few. Um, so there is two at level three, no, three, four at level three. So most of these are, 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 are level three traders at Ragman. Um, and then the other one, I think, is a level four one, but that's kind of a high level one, level five rig. Um, but yeah, the first one is um, the Anna M2 rig. This one, this bad boy here. It's a level four rig, not bad at all. It's got 60, uh, 60 um, armor points. So pretty good. I, it, it's a good budget one and definitely budget when you look at uh, what is needed. So there's round frame glasses and uh, coal pack face shields. Now you're thinking like, well, what, what, what use of coal pack face shields? Well, this is the use, this is great. Um, now, what you want to do for efficiency, obviously, I mean, you can buy the sunglasses. Actually, what I what I actually do as well, personally for me, um, I always look at fence. I look at fence. Uh, I have max fence rep. If you have max scav rep, obviously, this is great. This is like more advanced. Like this is for me. I have max fence rep, so I can go over to here. And usually they're not here right now because it's not he's not reset. But usually what I do is I've got a few here somewhere some round frame sunglasses. I buy them from fence for like 2K, 2000 rubles ish around there. And they are usually about 12K. It's still worth it. Um, now, if you go back to Ragman, now the coal pack uh, face shields, what you want to do is look for it on the flea market. And you see this trade here from Ragman. This requires one chainlet for one Face shield. Now you can see face shields are usually about 14, 15k. What you can do here is go buy some chainlets. Under sort of 10k is usually good. Buy these chainlets un under 10k. Uh, I mean, I, I would say probably about 7k each. These are quite expensive. Um, there's not a lot of people buying these right now. But once once people start sort of uh sort sorry once people start putting them up on the flea market they'll get low in price. Um, but generally I buy them about sort of 7k, 8k. Um, and then trade them in for the for the uh, face shields here. You see this one, this trade here, chain it for a, for, for a face shield. That means, you know, you're, you're getting the face shield for much less. Then you trade it in for the, the rig here. Boom, you got yourself a rig for about 57K is what I've got it at, at peak times-ish. Um, so 57K for a level four rig is pretty damn good. Usually on the flea market, you're looking at about 140k. 100, I've got 130k on my on my notes here. So savings of more than double, actually, 73k savings on on that rig right there, which is a fantastic trade. There's another trade here that's um that's not as good. There's 10 level 20 dog tags, which eh, you could probably sell them for more, really, but um still. So the next one is again a level three trade. This one is the Anna M1 rig. This one here. Um, now this, these aquamarines and the kvass for one of these. Now there is no limit on this trade, which I find funny. <laughs> it's it's odd. But yeah, there's no limit on this trade. So um, what I usually do, I don't use this trade a lot, but when I do, uh, I use my my aquamarines up to about one out of fifty. So you can use an aquamarine 
um, up to about one out of 50. Trade it in, you, you know, you, there's one use left on it, but it's still there, it's still useful. And then the Kvass, obviously, uh, and this total cost of about 112K. Um, and the flea market usually for these is about 150. They're looking at 160 here at the moment. Um, so about saving of 38 to 40K ish, um, give or take. So not the best of trades, but still pretty good. If you're looking for a rake, if you've run out of uh, of the trades for these, for the two here, you can get that one as well. And that's kind of worth it. The next one on level three is the uh, Bagheri rake. Baget Some people call it the Bagali because it, uh, they think it's an L, but it's an, it's an, it's an I, Bagheri, but Bagari, Bagar I don't know. Anyway, this one's pretty good. So what I do with this one, uh, obviously it, it, it takes four Cordura, two awls, owls, whatever you want to call them, um, and then four fleece. Okay, so four Cordura, two, two awls, four fleece. What I do is I just spam fleece uh, fleece and Cordura trades in the, uh, tra crafts in the hideout. These crafts here. Now, obviously you have to have a high level hideout as well, but at level three, Ragman, you're kind of looking at a decent hideout. You should have these trades or the, the lavatory um, upgraded anyway, really. Uh, if you don't, then you're missing out. Hideout's really good. You just get one of these and you need the, you, that's all you need is one of these. Uh, and then you, you're, you're good to go because it's a um, auxiliary item. So it doesn't disappear. You buy four of these from Ragman at 2K a pop. Four of those, that's about 8K, easy clap. And there's one Cordura, right? Cordura costs 17, 18K. I mean, I've I've got it at much, uh, much cheaper. He's about 14, 15 ish. So you're saving yourself an absolute fortune there uh, per sort of craft. And you just spam these. You just spam, spam, spam. Uh, you can buy these as well uh, from Ragman if you have the the Ragman level. Buy four of those. Each reset for 9K for a, for a fleece. Fleeces cost 15 to 14K. So you're seeing yourself some bob there as well. Now, if you go back to Ragman, got the trade here. Now, the alls, you can't really, I mean, you can buy. I would honestly buy the uh, the alls, I see at about 24K. They're quite expensive now. Again, early kind of morning for me is about 10 a.m. So um, I, I would buy them under about 24K and that's fine personally. Uh, maybe 25, depending if, if, if I'm desperate for rigs, I'll just buy it. Uh, it's still gonna be cheaper though, still gonna be really good. Um, so generally, I mean, the cost of this, uh, if you if you make all of that in the hideout and then buy the alls at 24K, it's around about 116K. 116K for this level five rig. It's an absolute beast as well. It's it's quite slow. It's it's a heavy rig. It's, it's really heavy, slow, but it's level five. It's 55 up, armor points, level five, armor steel. It covers your thorax and your stomach. It's a solid rig. I use this a lot. So... Good trade, 116k, solid. Now the next trade, level three, uh, Ragman, is actually the um, the backpack, the camel back tri-zip. Now this one requires four ES lamps. There's only two per reset, four ES lamps. Now these are usually about um, uh, 10k per lamp, right? Obviously again, early morning, prices are, are different. Ignore that. Um, so 10k is is really good so for those 40k for a tri-zip really good uh you can obviously here you can buy a tri-zip of 46k but if you get them for 40k then why not do the trade you know you save yourself 6k it's it's not too bad grab one of those uh, i've already got them stocked up i, I stock these up pretty pretty well so um yeah i whenever i kind of check these i usually check sort of periodically if if they dip under about sort of 10 9k i usually snap them up quickly because it's worth it you know just hoard them and then when you need when you need uh backpacks you just trade them and that's that's that you know it's super easy now the next trade um this one i use fairly often as well uh and this is only at level 45 okay so if, if you're a high level player um and you're looking for a good trade um then the this trade is pretty good. It's after the long line task. Now it's the AA CPC rig or the Ars Armor CPC mod one plate carrier uh, for two Cordura. Again, I mean, spam that the hideouts, make it the hideout. Um, 8K per Cordura is, is fine. And then the moonshine, right? So this trade is interesting because obviously the moonshine cost depends. But if you get, if you again, make it in the hideout, the moonshine, it makes it a low cheaper. 
Moonshine, obviously about 270k, um, but what you do in the hideout now, what I do is I is I craft my moonshine. Obviously, I craft loads of moonshine. Uh, I do also for the thick case trade. I've got four thick cases already. Um, I do that for the trade anyway. But I also use it for this trade. Um, so water filters. You need those in the hideout. Obviously, you go for the water filters. You make the super water here, or the uh, the canister with purified water in there. You make that. Now to make one whole canister is 66% of a filter. That costs about 86K, right? 66% of the full price of a filter, right? The full price of a filter, 130K-ish, you know? That's about 86K, you know, in terms of 66% of it. Um, so, not too bad, 86 sort of K, plus then you need sugar, right? To make the moonshine. You need two sugars. Uh, now that is not too bad at all. So that's about 50k each, right? Give or take. So you're looking at about, I want to say, 180, uh, 186k total for for making a uh, full moonshine, which is pretty damn good considering it's you know it's about maybe 90k cheaper than buying it from the flea market, right? And then obviously combined with the with the crafting of the quarter and the hideout for 8k each, you're looking at about uh, 100, uh, 200. 2,000 rubles for this this rig here to trade for this rig. 202,000 rubles is not bad for a level five rig. Obviously, the the other one, the uh, the Bagheri, is considerably cheaper, but it's a different rig. It's a different rig. So if you've got extra of these and you're already making moonshine, it's worth trading for these these bad boys here to uh, you know to to just get some armor to use in your raids. You know to to play with right. Playing the game is what you want to do, right? So. Use these trades, get the rigs, get the armor to play the game. That's cool, right? So the last trader, Mr. Jaeger, our friend, dear friend, Mr. Jaeger. So these are both level one trades, actually, which is quite cool. So if you guys are level one trades and you, you know, traders and you and you want to get this, I mean, they might not be useful to you, but they're uh, they're useful uh, down the line for sure, hundred percent. So level one trades. Here we go. So first one is the dog tag case. This is a VHS tape and a military flash drive. The VHS tape is named actually Video Cassette with Cyborg Killer Movie. <laughs> Don't ask. Anyway, um, th there's that one. And then the military flash drive, 130K. So you're looking at about sort of um, 160K for the for the dog, dog tag case, which is pretty good considering on flea market, it's about 300. So you're saving yourself 140. Well, 140,000 saving yourself. So that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. So yeah, worth doing that one. Don't buy dog tag cases. Just trade them here on Jaeger. Easy peasy. All right. Now, for for those that are doing like um, setup and Punisher tasks, you need to use the scav vest. Yes, the scav vest. Obviously, as we know, on the on the flea market, they are fairly expensive usually a lot of times. But what people forget is that you can actually just buy a slickers bar for 9k, 8k and trade one to one for a scav vest L literally 9k for a scav vest and you're good to go right for your for your punisher and punisher and setup task i've got my flea market cost down here at 15k for the for the scav vest right but i mean it, it fluctuates 15k is probably the, about the lowest 14 15k you get for the you know for the lowest scav vest but it shoots up to 20 plus right just buy a slickers trade there's no limit on this just buy a slickers trade it Boom, you've got yourself a cheap scav vest. You've saved yourself like, 20, I don't know, 15 to 20K. It depends. So yeah, that is a solid one for Jaeger. And that is basically it. I've only got two there. There's not a lot. There's not a lot of trades on Jaeger that I would really recommend. Um, a lot of them I've looked at. I mean, you could probably go for the Mark Trim key. If you want a Mark Trim key, you might save yourself a few a few hundred K. But that's the only other one, really. Um, yeah, obviously, if you want a Holodilnik, this is obviously a good one to do as well if you want uh, food storage places. But still, I, I mean, it's, you know, everyone knows this one anyway. It's not uh, it's not like a big surprise, ooh, you know, crazy trade. I think it's the only place you can actually get the Holodonic uh, anyway through this trade. So, yes. Um, but yeah, that's Jaeger. That is all the traders. That is all the trades that I personally do myself. Ow, that hurt. Um, <laughs> I personally do myself. So uh, definitely worth going for. Um, Again, if you guys did think this was useful, leave a comment 
below telling me uh, telling me that. Or if I miss one, let me know as well. Tell me, please. Because I, I'm curious to know about like different people's like things that they do and like different trades and things they think are worth it. Obviously, it, it kind of is relative or subjective to you and what you you like to use in game. Um, but it's good to know anyway, and it might help out some people in, in the comments that are looking for other trades as well. Also, before you go, uh, I just want to remind you that I do stream on Twitch from about 10 a.m. UK time um, most days. So if you guys want to come hang out, chat with me live, then I'd, uh, I'd love to have you. Uh, so give it a follow. It's in the description below.